Hello, this is Hakunabeen, and today we are going to be reading Joke and C 14 of Coffee and Criminals. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. Into the ID 418. Habitat in a IETS 1C5B plus. I don't know what that means. Class Spectral. <clears throat> Properties U and Q and AGR. I do not know what that means. Description What is a sin? Sin is common to find as an immoral act considered to be a transgression against a divine law. However, this is the script, this definition leaves a lot up to interpretation. What is moral versus immoral? Whose law is being violated? And must they be divine? Many may try to generalize under the definition of common sense. Killing people is wrong. Stealing things is wrong. Promoting hate against others is wrong. But these can be too general. And here it is where forces of law, such as the eyes. What did I mean by the eyes? I'm gonna just. The eyes of Argos? Often make mistakes. What people were killed in self-defense? What if things were stolen from those with too much by those with not enough? What if hate is promoted against the haters? Many try to reach down into the depths of these problems, trying to truly find which are moral and which are not. But they quickly realize that each specific case is completely unique with drastically different situation solutions. And yes, I have been literally told by, by people in real life, freaking character for a minute, that I should not, not be, be hating on the people who literally want to kill me for being trans. I ignore those people anyway because uh, why the heck would I not hate someone that literally wants me dead? Anyway, back to this. Some things, however, are undeniably great sins. All from the worst that human kind can offer to Argos himself. Agree. You have attempted to make coffee in a teapot. Really? I don't know. I think being a transphobe is a worse sin, and personally. But let's say on topic for now. Tea is an elegant thing, a calm beverage, meant to help relieve stress. Especially so in this hazardous place you know as the back rooms. Even those who don't enjoy it still admire its wondrous simplicity, really consisting of hand-picked leaves or a similar substitute. Boiled to deliver such incredible blessings of mindfulness and peace upon those that partake in it. Even in this realm away from your home, there are ones that enjoy its flavor and clarity. Okay, who? Entity 140. Oh, Lon. I love Lon. She's great. Anyway. But coffee. Beans ripped from, from fruit. Thrown together without care. Their own self-defense mechanisms working against them. Worse, the beans themselves are barely used. Discard to the elements as soon as they have been exhausted in your eyes. The fluid itself is not any better, but well, thankfully its effects are most limited to disgusting beings such as yourself. Rather than a calm release of energy, the caffeine violently and suddenly shoots people awake into displeased consciousness. It clings to the mind too, and people quickly form wrongful addictions and dependencies on a vile substance. And you, you dare to use an artifact specifically designed 
for the sweet creation of tea. For your violent, angry, a god piss. Triggering a 418 error in reality itself. For that, I have a come. Behaviors. Behaviors. I knew there would be complications of connected this way. So what do I do? What ordinary behaviors do I engage in? Is this a typical question your speech is asked? Means of, un of incomprehensible power and intellect? No wonder you degenerates managed to create such horrible concoctions as coffee. But alas, the medium of communication seems to have reached an ultimatum on my part, as I am unable to continue without answering the same question. So what is it that I do? I hunt down and purge beings such as yourself from every last level of this blighted realm. One such as you, reader dearest, that dare to defile the delicate home brew of reality by intentionally sparking 418 errors have no right to exist. In this blasted plane or out of it, I am not only the seer, I am the judge, jury, and executioner. Be gone. Oh, for if you seek physical terminology, you have come to the wrong place. I am incorporeal, omnipresent, and, inc and, and indescribably powerful. I have no need for a physical form, as I may simply will myself into the presence of a despicable sinner as yourself. In fact, I don't just hold the power. I am the power. Primordial, raw nuclear chaos of... Oh, dude, the teapot's acting up again. Yes, I know. I've asked you this before. Which cable do I unplug to get the back to get the bugger to shut up? Right. Thanks. Is that coffee done? By the way, hey. Do unplug the little bastard. If ever starts going on about being omnipresent, as in murderous ghosts, enjoy any types of coffee or tea you see fit. Don't bother listening to any of its rants. <laughs> that ended great. That was a joke in the 418 of Coffee and Criminals. Probably uh, one of my favorite silly e entities I've read uh, today. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no clue what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. Though there is a slight chance I might be bringing back red content just because... Uh, meh. Make sure to tell me your opinion about that in the comments below. Anyway, no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. So until then, goodbye!